The Sierra Timberwolves hosting Tokay on a sunny Wednesday afternoon. And in the top of the first, it's the Tigers looking to strike first. Runner on first, Corey Sugg comes up to the plate, belts a ball over the right fielder's head. Brady Grady stops at third to put runners on second and third for Tokay. But Sierra starting hurler Santi Duarte ultimately striking out the side. No harm done, still no score. Top of three, Matthew Casillas with no one on and no one out, lines one down the right field line. The junior center fielder takes a turn, slides into second with the double. Then three batters later, Sugg is back at the plate. This time he knocks one in with a lining sack fly to right. Casillas scores, one nothing Tigers. Then there are two on for Max De Santiago. Max ropes one down the left field line. Grady and Brock Sell come in to score a two-run double for De Santiago, 3-0 Toke. And the Tigers looking for more. But Duarte able to get the ground out. Shortstop Angel Valdez making a great play, diving in for the tag to end the big inning. Bottom of the third now, runner on first when Tomas Carrillo grounds one to short. The ball gets past the first baseman, base runner Zach Cook looking to score. First baseman Brett Grady gets to it, throws home, and the pitcher Corey Sugg applies the tag, and he is out. Toke also with a big play in the outfield as De Santiago slides and snags the sinking liner and the umpires call it a catch. Bottom six, still no hits for Sierra until Brendan Rapasura drops one in front of the center fielder. That's the first hit for the Timberwolves and would be the only hit starting pitcher Corey Sugg would allow. The bases are juiced a few batters later. It goes Paul Buckley to sell to Grady, a 5-2-3 double play and Toke gets the shutout. 3-0, the final in Manteca behind five scoreless frames from Corey Sugg.